In this excerpt from Diamond Systems for 8-Ball and 9-Ball Players, Mike Massey demonstrates one of the Diamond Systems he uses when playing 8-Ball and 9-Ball. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, now what I'm going to do is explain the, the plus two system uh, for two rail kicks. Okay, on a billiard table, this would be one in the corner, but you, on a pool table, of course, you can't have a one because uh, the pocket's in the way. Okay, one, half a diamond is two, this is three, and this is four, and this is five, and six, and so forth. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now what that means, if I'm here, and I shoot into three, okay, from this diamond, with a little bit of some running English, a nice level stroke running English, the cue ball should end up one, two, three diamonds up table. If I shoot into two from here, it should go one into here. Two diamonds, okay? Shoot from here, from this point here, okay? If I shoot a little run in English from here, it should go one, two, three, four. Should hit up here. So I'm gonna demonstrate a shot. So say I have a two nine combination up here. I look at my target. I call my target zero. So this is zero. So now I go one, two, three, and I start looking. Okay, because it's gotta be in the track. So it lines up perfect for a three from this diamond. Okay, say the ball is low down here a little bit. Now this would be three track here, and this would be the four track. Okay, so it'd be in between somewhere. So it's gonna be probably about three and a half. But let's put it perfectly on the three right here. So now with a little run in English, I should be able to make that nine ball. So let's go through some examples so you have a better idea on how to perform this type of kick shot. Let's say we're playing eight ball and we have a situation where we have to kick at the eight. So we first determine our cue ball target, which would be this diamond. This diamond is two diamonds away from our target if the cue ball were on this diagonal, we could just aim toward two with run in English. So let's look at our original cue ball position. I hold my cue stick over the cue ball and point it toward two. Now we can see that the butt end of the cue stick is over this area here on the side rail. If we shoot toward two, the cue ball would strike the rail two diamond lengths from this area and miss the eight ball. This time I'm going to hold my cue stick over the cue ball and point it toward three. Now the butt end of the cue stick is over the side pocket. So if we shoot toward three, the cue ball would strike three diamond lengths from the side pocket hitting our eight ball. Let's examine the system in more detail. In this example, we're going to make this diamond our target. So two diamonds away from this target would be right here. If the cue ball were here and we shot toward two, the cue ball would strike the rail two diamond lengths down the rail. If we take the same cue ball position, and this time aimed it toward three, we can see that the butt end of the cue stick is over this area on the side rail. So shooting toward three will send the cue ball three diamond lengths from this area. So whatever end rail number you shoot at will be the number of diamond lengths down the side rail the cue ball will strike. So if the cue ball were here and we shot toward four on the end rail, the cue ball would strike the side rail four diamond lengths from whatever area in the side rail our cue stick was over. In this example, I'm going to point my cue stick through the cue ball at two on the end rail. And when I do this, I can see that my cue stick is over this spot on the side rail. So I'll place a ball two diamond lengths from this spot on the rail. If I shoot toward two on the end rail, the cue ball should strike the object ball. Now I'll point my cue stick through the cue ball and point it toward three on the end rail. When I do this, the cue stick is over this diamond on the side rail. So I'll go down three diamond lengths from this spot and place an object ball. Shooting toward three should send the cue ball toward this target. Finally, I point my cue stick through the cue ball at four on the end rail. Now my cue is over this spot on the side rail. Four diamond lengths from this spot is right here, 
so I'll place an object ball along the rail. Shooting toward 4 should send the cue ball toward this ball. In this scenario, I'm going to go two rails to strike the eight ball. In situations like this, the most important thing is not to give up ball in hand, so we definitely have to make sure we strike the eight ball. Ideally, we would like to strike the eight ball leaving our opponent a tough shot. And it's also a good idea on kick shots like this just to go ahead and call the corner pocket just in case. So the first thing we need to do is find a target on the side rail that if we send the cue ball toward it, the eight ball would be on this track. And it looks like this target here in the side rail should work. Now we need to find our path for the cue ball. Since this is our target, let's move three diamond lengths down the side rail. I'll place the cue stick over this area and point it toward three on the end rail. And now we can see that the cue ball is close to being on this path. So I'll go down one more diamond length on the side rail, which means we're now four diamond lengths away from our target. So now I'm going to place my cue stick over this area and point it toward four. And now we can see that the cue ball isn't quite on this path. Since the cue ball isn't on the 3 or 4 path, let's pick a spot that's between them and use that as our starting point. Since this is 3.5 diamond lengths away from our target, the path would head toward 3.5 on the end rail, which is right here. And now it looks like the cue ball is directly on this path. Shooting toward 3.5 should strike the 8 ball. Another demonstration here. Okay, we have the ball laying in the pocket. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. It's perfect five right here. This is five, remember? This is five. Now what I've realized is when you get the, this, this angle here is a little less English. Nice level stroke. Just a touch of right English. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Here's five. In this game of eight ball, my opponent just missed and left me hooked on the eight ball. So the first thing I need to do is find my target on the side rail. This spot here on the side rail should work as my target. I'll then move three diamond lengths down the side rail from this target and hold my cue stick over this area. Since it's three diamond lengths away from our target, I'll point the cue stick toward three. If the cue ball were on this diagonal, it would head toward the eight ball. Since the cue ball isn't on this diagonal, I'll go down one more diamond length. I'll hold my cue stick over this area and point it toward four on the end rail, and we can see that the cue ball is on this path. Shooting toward four should send the cue ball toward the eight ball. And in situations like this, you should always call a pocket for the 8-ball in case you make it. In this game of 8-ball, I'm hooked on my last ball, the 1-ball. So the first thing I'll do is pick out a target. If the cue ball heads toward this diamond, it should hit the 1-ball. So now I'm going to count two diamond lengths from this diamond and hold my cue stick over this area and point it toward 2 on the end rail. The cue ball isn't on this path, so I'll go down one more diamond length, which means we're now three diamond lengths from our target. Since we're three diamond lengths away from our target, the track would head toward three on the end rail. I'll hold my cue stick over this area on the side rail and point it toward three. Now we can see that the cue ball is on this path. So shooting toward three on the end rail will send the cue ball toward our target. My goal on this shot is to just shoot hard enough to bounce the one ball off the side rail so it's no longer being blocked by the eight ball. Here's a great system for going three or four rails and striking your object ball. I'll first.